In this video, let's find out how to transfer files from your Pico 4 to your computer with just, well, one lead and a couple of settings you might have to change. You might not necessarily have to change them at all. Now, first of all, you need to make sure your headset is switched on and you've set up your boundary and everything. The boundary is not necessarily, doesn't matter, but you need to make sure it's switched on because otherwise it's not going to get anything. And you can use the lead from the Pico 4 itself. Just plug it into a USB-C port. Or you can use the lead that I've got in the link in the description down below, which is the Kiwi lead that is a USB, well, A to USB-C. Now, once you plug it in, hopefully you it should work straight away. It should, but look, there are some fixes. So once you've plugged it in, you should get this pop-up. Now, I've got a Google Drive pop-up that pops up all the time whenever I... I it's just annoying. But you want to click on this pop-up straight away. And you want to open device to view files in file explorer and then there we should have it it should pop up in your this pc anyway if you're on windows and you should be able to go in and for example if you're looking for your videos that you've done you want to go in movies and you want to go in screen recordings and then all your screen recordings will pop up and it's the same for well anything really you've got music you've got your game saves your Pico photos, pictures, these are your screenshots that you've taken. However, if you're not getting this, there might be a reason for it. And what you want to do is enable developer mode on your Pico 4. So to set up developer mode, I've shown this in a previous video, but let's do it quick. Quick settings, settings, go down to general, go to about, all the way down to about. Then scroll all the way down to software version and you want to tap on this as many times as it takes to pop up here. So I think it was seven last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Developer mode. And then you go into developer mode and you want to switch on USB debug. And it'll give you a warning. But, you know, just to confirm, yes. And then... You can either charge this device and that's all it'll do for a USB connection or go to file transfer. And that should fix any problems that you have. And also, from now on, when you do plug it in, it will just automatically pop up in your finder. It will also pop up here as well, but it will definitely 100% show up here. And again, you just go into all these different things. Anyway, if this video helped you at all, smash the like button because it just makes me feel good about myself, to be honest. <laughs> now, all jokes aside, I haven't made as many videos as I've wanted to in the last couple of weeks. I was a little bit ill, but I, I've been sort of feeling a bit of a weird pressure to make sure my videos are better and that sounds stupid so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna stick to the standard of what i normally do i hope you're okay with that <laughs> thanks for watching guys catch you in the next one Goodbye. whoa that went high pitched